Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Sephora haul update. This is where I update you on my previous Sephora haul. It's been about a month's time. And this is where I share with you all my final reviews on products, whether I think you should pick something up, whether I think you should avoid products. If I had to return anything, you will find out here. So let's jump into this video. It's gonna be short and sweet. I didn't have too much product in the last Sephora haul because it was the haul after the Sephora sale and I always buy more during the sale. I'm gonna start off with the two Refi products that I picked up. One I would recommend, one I wouldn't. And starting with the product in this haul that didn't quite work out for me, it is the Refi Concealer. They did accidentally send me the wrong shade. And honestly, I could use a light shade like this for mixing. So the shade itself didn't bother me. It was just the formula of this. I found it a little drying on my under eyes. For me, this would be a pass. I have been mixing it and it's been working out nicely that way, but on its own, I just wouldn't purchase this concealer personally. I didn't think it was that good myself. And then for the brush, I've been really enjoying this, but I also love dual ended brushes. And I know some people don't just for storage and whatnot, but I personally love a dual ended brush and I've been using it for all my powder products whether it's just loose translucent powder or blush. I think that's been working out really nicely. I used it today for my one blush that I'm wearing today, which you will see. I do try and use all these products in this video so you can see it on the skin, but over the course of the month, you would have seen all these products in a video. This part of the brush is very cheaply done. There's other brushes that I obviously love more. My hourglass ones that are dual ended, the Makeup by Mario, I would recommend over this, but still for me, I utilize dual ended brushes every single day. So I've been enjoying it and definitely not gonna be returning that because I have been using it almost on the daily for my powder products. This next product I purchased and I thought I probably wasn't going to like it, However, I actually really like this and the color isn't too light, which also I was scared about. And this is the new sculpting liquid from Makeup by Mario. It's a bronzer sculptor. This has many uses to it. You can bronze up the skin. You can mix it in with foundation. You can apply it before foundation. You can use this on the body, whatever you wanna do, mix it in with moisturizer. This really is multi-use because their packaging also is multi-use. You can actually pump it out or you can use the doe foot applicator, which I love. I hope all liquid products come like this, that you can use it either way. For me, I typically apply product on my hand first, and then I just go in with a brush. So regardless, either the pump or the doe foot, I'd probably be using it the same way, just on my hand. I've used this to sculpt with the doe foot. It's worked out nicely. It doesn't lift my makeup. It also blends out seamlessly. It doesn't cling to anything and it looks so natural. I got the light medium shade. I was worried it would be too light as I said, but I think it's the perfect shade for me. And I've just been loving how this looks and the versatility of it. I've actually been using this more than the cream bronzer from Makeup by Mario. I really like it. Again, I didn't think I was going to enjoy this or find too much use from it, but I have been really loving it. So happy I picked that up. I picked up two new blushes and I'm gonna start with my favorite one, which is from House Labs. Surprise, surprise. They can do no wrong in my eyes right now. I love what they are doing. This is the Color Fuse Glassy Blush Balm in Glassy Pomelo. It is a balmy consistency. So if you do not like that sort of texture on the skin where your hair could potentially get stuck in it because it does remain balmy, you're not gonna like this. But this blends in so seamlessly on top of a fully set face for everyday natural makeup. It really is versatile. So you can use this both on the cheeks and the lips. I showed this on my cheeks in a video. However, I'm wearing it on my lips today because I didn't show it on the lips for that video. A pinky coral, does it get much better than this for me, for a lip color? This video is actually the first time I've used this on my lips. I love how thin it is. I love the color. It is like MAC jazz to me. I love a peachy pink. I think it's super flattering. So I'm definitely gonna be reaching for this more for my lips and just doing a monochromatic look with the cheeks and the lips. This was my favorite blush formula that launched recently. I did also pick up one of the Kosas blushes, which I know are very popular as well. And I got the shade Blist. I just love creams and liquids on my skin just because I'm more dry leaning. This formula just sits a little dusty on my skin, but because it does have that glow to it, it can melt in, but I did notice for this at least, it's slightly 
poor emphasizing for me just because it has a more dusty finish. I don't know if it's just the one that I have, but I can see kind of product on my skin. It doesn't melt in as much as I would like, though I think this is getting like a five out of five star on Sephora. So people are loving this just for me. I prefer a cream over this blush, but I do love the color. I'm keeping it. I think it's pretty. I'm wearing it today. I love the color Bliss that I went with. It was my favorite of the bunch, and I think this looks really nicely on top of the House Labs as well. So really nice combo there. But if you're into a baked formulation, this is talc free as well. It's a really nice one to check out if you prefer a powder blush that does have some glow. I got another one of the Sephora Colorful Luminizers. I already went into detail about how much I love this formula. So this is kind of a repurchase. I just got a new color in this. So I'm not gonna talk too much about it. You already know I love this. It is the pink flash shade. It is so beautiful. I've been using this on my lips too. It's a really cool pink highlight on the cheeks too. It's just beautiful. I love this formula. This personally for me currently is the best highlighter formula on the market. I've been loving this for affordable highlight. It is so good. And it's because of the shade Sparkling Honey. I've never found a better undertone highlight than that one. I will link that one down below. That's the one that I recommend. However, I just wanted to pick up the pink because I saw someone use it. It looks so, so beautiful. Then also on my lips today, I'm using the Makeup by Mario Lip Liner Pencil in Almond. I already love this formula. This is just a new color for me. So this is what it looks like. I love the mauve undertone of this. It's just so perfect with various lip combos that I do. It really does go with everything and I love the depth of this. And then we can get Morphe in Canada. I ended up getting this puff, which is very similar to a beauty blender. It has the same dual textured sides to it. If you're a fan of that from Beauty Blender, Morphe has ones that are more affordable. I love the shape of these better as well, just because it is so pointed and you can really get into that inner corner to press powder for your under eye. So loving the shape of that, really happy that I picked it up. And then the last thing I got are the three new scents from Sol de Janeiro. I did a whole video on these. I ranked these with all the scents in Sol de Janeiro too. So again, I don't wanna to spend too much time talking about them here. I will tell you my ranking of these three new scents. We have the red one, which is my absolute favorite. It's a juicy musk. So if you like Sol de Janeiro 40 and 68, I think you'd really like this one. This one smells more typical to a summer scent to me. This one has notes of peach skin and coconut milk. I can really smell the coconut in this one, so that's why it smells more summer beachy to me. But again, I love this one, and these two ranked really high in my ranking. This one for me is my least favorite just because it's more heavy floral, but I do love the note of almond in here. So I haven't been reaching for this one as much. Lately, I've been reaching for the green one though. I'm gonna actually wear that one today. These are so good, and I look forward to this launch every single summer from Sol de Janeiro. It's just so exciting to have new scents from them. Sometimes they do bring back some of these scents. I saw that they're bringing back Bikini Season, which was a really nice one from last summer, I think it was. And that one smells like Flintstones Vitamins, if I'm thinking of the right one. <laughs> so I'm really excited that they're bringing that back part of the permanent line, I believe. So it's gonna actually have a number. So these are my final reviews on all the products that I purchased in my last Sephora haul. Usually after one of these videos come a, another Sephora haul. However, I haven't spent too much money at Sephora. I did that huge Florida haul where I went to Ulta, Sephora in the US. So if you wanna see some Sephora stuff, check out that Florida haul that I did because I, I did do Ulta, Sephora, Target, just a ton of stuff in that video. So that was where all my money went with my trip. So probably won't have a Sephora Canada haul anytime soon, I'm not thinking. There hasn't been too many launches that I have been purchasing, little things here and there. But we need a Sephora summer sale. I do have some items in my cart that I wanna purchase, but one's a fragrance and I'm kinda wanting a little bit of a discount or at least some kind of incentive to purchase it, like four times the points. I'm waiting. So I do have stuff ready to purchase, but I always wait for codes, sales, whatnot to place some orders. This is everything for my update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. And if you've not already, I'd absolutely love for you to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell to be notified of all my future videos, and I will see you guys in my next one.